Wait, Megan. She will have to wait. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Christian. Welcome to or back to my channel for today's video. I have a very special guest, my bestest best friend in the entire world, Melissa Kendricks. Hi. Period. <laughs> Tell the girls what you be doing. I'm in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm an esthetician. Mm -hmm. Which we should be cleaning that face. Mm -hmm. You already know. I love. Music, modeling, art, dance, Period. TikTok. Um, yes, go follow her on TikTok. Politics, social activism. <laughs> she, all of that. I really do. She's a well rounded girl. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Period. Her. But, I anyways, mean. well, actually, not anyways. Sorry, I felt like that was so yeah. rude. Yeah. I felt like that was so rude. Yeah. But. Yeah. We want to make sure we can get y'all this video because for today's video, it's going to be. Crazy racist bitch burns her picture. <laughs> I don't know. It's just going to be crazy girl burns her picture because that's what we're going to be talking about. This is a continuation from my racist encounter story time, which if you haven't seen, I will link it in the description box below. I will also link the video to my, no, I'll, I'll also put the link to my last YouTube video, which was my positions album review uh, in the link in the description box as well. Sorry, I'm kind of discombobulated. We recorded this already. <laughs> we actually recorded like a full mukbang, like a full on mukbang. Mm -hmm. But the freaking mic wasn't plugged in. Matter of fact, let me make sure this thing plugged in right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I think we're good. But yeah, no, nah, it wasn't plugged in. And y'all, when I tell you, it was kind of yeah, sad. But like, it's it was going in and out. It it's was okay. weird. It's but it's okay. Bad. We still got some chips and guac. And All right. And some drinks, drinks. All right, we're not gonna put the label because they're not sponsoring us, so we will not put the label in a second to sponsor. Yep. No, thank you. Anyways, child, let's get into this video. So, A from a. the last video. Yep. If you haven't seen the last video, go watch that first. Confused. Yeah, so, so go watch that watch first that and first, then watch this. And then come back and then we'll give you the tea. Mm hmm. So, A. And Sparkle, we're kind of getting into it a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's like a lot, bitch, like a lot. Like, they got, so basically, for that. yeah, so basically like A just basically kept trying to push Sparkle around, like I said in the um, in the first video. Kept trying to push her around, kept gaslighting her, kept guilt tripping her. You know, she, um, she, um, like, I guess uh, A wanted to go ice skating. But Sparkle didn't want to go because Sparkle doesn't really ice skate like that. Sparkle doesn't really be doing shit like that. Like Sparkle's more in the house, <laughs> you know, yeah. to herself. She don't really be doing shit like that. So, well, you can imagine. She might now, but not. Yeah, that. now yeah. she's kind of gotten a little bit more like out there with wanting to like yeah. try more stuff. Her. But no, nah, my sis knew knew what she couldn't do, knew what she could, and she was gonna stick by we're, that. We're eating chips and guac from Chipotle. Yeah, I don't know if I said that, but we got chips and guac from Chipotle. Because we already, we already ate our actual <laughs> food in the other move bong that didn't record with the sound. But yeah, so basically, A kept arguing with Sparkle and shit. Like, just kept basically doing a whole bunch of rude ass shit. <laughs> One particular night, it was a Wednesday. In case you guys don't know what a wine Wednesday is, it's where you drink wine on Wednesday night with your friends. It's like a little mini it's party. A cute college name. Yeah, we do we do it now in college. I'd never heard of it before until I got to college. So, but then I didn't even know what the fuck wine was in high school, bitch. All I knew like vodka and all that kind of shit was. But oh. Oh, yeah, so we were having a wine Wednesday. A was being A as she always does. All right, as she always do. Okay. In the words of Jocelyn, okay, as like you always do. I see you got on your maid outfit like you always do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, just A was having an attitude like she always does. And we weren't having it, bitch. We were trying to have a good time. Yeah, it was trying to drink all wine much. and feel fine. Okay. I was, I was a, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, better than that's your that's favorite that, rappers. That's that on that. Bars. But anyway. Well, yeah, so, um, the reason why A was having an attitude is because we went out to go buy wine, and A wanted Chardonnay, and I guess we bought the Chardonnay for her, but I guess it was cheap Chardonnay, so she couldn't drink it, child. Mind you, 
I didn't live there at the time. Yeah. I was not there. So, Melissa was just getting all the tea for me and Sparkle because... On FaceTime all the time. Because I went to school here, freshman year, moved home, went to beauty school, and then came back. But there was like a two-year gap where I didn't live here. Mm -hmm. So that's when all this stuff was happening. But I was always on the phone because we were always on FaceTime. Yeah. Like, all the time. Yeah. Like, literally when I would wake up, and he would, like, notice if I was on Twitter or something. Or yeah, I do. And then he'd call me. Or would I call him or whatever. We were just always on the phone. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So, it was like I was there, but I wasn't. But uh, it was like I was, you know. So, I knew all the tea. I was there on the phone the whole time. So, like, I was involved. Exactly. Is the point. <laughs> Basically, like... <laughs> like every and anybody can relate to this. Like if you ever, if, if you, you have a best friend, a boyfriend, there, girlfriend, like you. you go tell you go tell your significant other, your friend, whatever the tea, the drama. Right. Well, therefore, telling them that does kind of involve them somehow in some shape, shape or and form. We have like a close friend group, but we're gonna. Talk right. About so like in a way, like they're gonna involve themselves regardless, but if it involves them or not, because they're my friend and they're gonna want to help. But A did not like that at all. <laughs> a was not A was not having it. So, um, this is where Melissa can take it away from here because this is where, like, the main thing happened between them. And this is how the picture gets burned and all that. But, <laughs> yeah, A was not having it. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, A was trying to be really rude to Sparkle. Mm -hmm. And I was in, oh, I almost hold a whole chip piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Anyways. I was in Arizona and they were telling me all the stuff that was happening like with between A and Sparkle and I was like, this is not okay. This mm -hmm. is gaslighting, this is toxic roommate behavior. This is not like appropriate at all. Like it's rude. <laughs> and like Sparkle didn't deserve that. Like it didn't it wasn't Like Sparkle's the sweetest human being, like this sweetest. Yeah. And yeah, like, yes, Sparkle can really be that girl sometimes if you push her to be. But right, on the surface, Sparkle is though. that, like, Sparkle's the sweetest human being ever. Like, you know how Sammy Sweetheart says, I'm the sweetest girl you ever meet? No, Sparkle's the sweetest <laughs> girl you ever meet. Yeah. So, I was just like, hey, like, chill out. Like, why do you guys have to make these things, like, arguments? Right. Like, why do we always have to argue? We're supposed to be friends. Like, it's supposed to be a friend group. No friend group should have that many arguments. Right. Like, my like best friends from home and I, we don't argue like that. Right, like, like maybe one, like every couple of years. And no friend group stuff. should really argue like that in general. Like, just have healthy communication, like. Uh, so, I was like, hey, like, relax. And then that's when she went the fuck off on me and was like, you don't even live here. Like, how do you even know what's happening? Like, you're like, turning yourself into drama that you don't need to be. And I was like. And it's like, well, where, where I can see that, it's not like it's any sort of type of drama. It's her best friend drama. So I can see it was some random ass shit. And it's drama like, that she's creating. But exactly, exactly. Like so it's drama she's creating fault, that she's so hearing about every single day. Black girl right. The drama. And that's um, the gag too. It's like, the fact is, is like, well, the fact of the matter is, is that I'm also hearing about it every single day. So therefore, it is a problem now because now it's cutting into my day. Like you're affecting my friends. Right. Because now I have to affecting. worry about my friends that are upset because now I feel like, well, shit, I wish I could do more to help. So this yeah. is what I'm going to do to help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you know, stop fucking with him, man. Right. <laughs> like, like, I'm not the one. Yes. And she was like, yeah, she said all that. And I was like, oh, girl, I don't know who you think you're talking to. Right. I really don't know who you think you're talking to. Like, you're somebody's parent. Exactly. She, she always wanted to send somebody. She always wanted to send somebody. She always really was trying to do that. No, it's because she was older than us, but like. You ain't Nikki. Who cares? Like. Pipe now. <laughs> still not like a parent. Like, and mind you, she was old. Like, don't forget. Oh, like, she, she okay. Because we were like fresh out of high school, like senior year, so 17, 18. She was like was 21, 22. I was probably 18 when this happened. I was 18 when this happened. Yeah. But yeah, so the bitch was crazy. And then we find out from one of our other friends, after she calls her while she was in Arizona, we find out from another one of our friends that she got a phone call from her. And while they were on the phone, she burned her picture that we put on the door. Oh, so when yeah. she moved out, we put a picture of her on the door as like, you know, I'm not remembering. It sounds like she died, but like, you know, as like a little, I'm you know. I'm a bit. Ah! <laughs> 
But like, you know, I was like a little like, you know, like our good sis still here, like even though she's yeah, not here kind like, of thing. It was my senior portrait and they put it on the door, like yeah. my front door to my old apartment. 128. <laughs> and yeah, she literally like had them FaceTime me to show me that she was burning my picture. Mm -hmm. Like she took off the photo off the door. Mind you, all I told her to do was to chill out with the argument. Right, that's and the gaslighting. And the and the um, abusive behavior. That's the gag of it all. She literally just said, "Calm down." Right. And sis, wait. And now, like, off. She's fucking literally burning my picture. Like, what? Mm -hmm. So she took the photo off. Literally, set a fucking lighter to it and burned my picture. Crazy ass bitch. Like crazy as fuck. Like I don't want to say crazy. I don't want to say crazy. Like trying to be like, oh, like you know, what if she has a mental illness, things like that. Like I don't know. Like these just don't and seem like, like signs mental of mental illness. illness. And yeah, I don't think this, having this just yeah, crazy. like <laughs> like she was psycho. Like, like she really is psycho. Sometimes like, people will take the word crazy and be like, oh, well, you know, you yeah. could be trying to label somebody that could actually have something else. But I want y'all to really hear it from our mouths, like. This bitch really is that bitch Nora from iCarly. Like she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yes. Yeah. That's but okay. that's pretty much like the, that's it for this video. Um, I feel really bad that we couldn't get our mukbang for y'all out. If I if I have some time, I could. Uh, I'll upload a couple of the funny clips from it yeah, that got salvaged. Yeah. But yes, um, I'm gonna link all of her socials in the description box as well as mine, as well as the links to the last videos as well. Um, I want to start posting on my channel. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Bitch, hold on, wait, she has a YouTube channel. So you know what, go subscribe well, to her I channel. I posted some travel vlogs or whatever, but. Okay, okay. I, well, my sister wants me to get it up for rent. You know what, how about this? If you guys go subscribe to her channel, it'll give her the motivation to post more. Her. How about that? So. Film a video. Period, yes. You know what, we can even film That's a video for a her channel. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm done. But I also have a dance video that she's also in. I'm gonna put on my Twitter. I might put it on Vimeo and Vimeo's copyright laws or rules or whatever are different than YouTube's, like a little bit more lenient. That I might put it on Vimeo. Um, and so I'll link that Vimeo and my Vimeo like channel or whatever in the description box as well once that done. Or you can just see it on my Twitter and my Instagram. Um, I hope you guys continue to stay safe, especially during this Thanksgiving season. I know you guys are going to want to go see family, but if you guys do end up making that choice, because you guys, you know, have the right and the choice to go see your family if you guys want to, just please stay safe, wear a mask, try to social distance as much as you can, limit the family tested. members to just 10 to 5, maybe even 10 to 9 people at max if you guys can. I know that sounds like a big promise, because it's like, well, I have a big-ass family, because I feel that same shit. Yeah, but, I haven't seen my family in so long. I know, and all my family really wants to see me, but I feel bad because I don't want to come from a college town and go see all of them, you know what I'm but saying? But get tested. Get tested, right. Be safe. It's literally free in some places. I don't know if it's free everywhere, but... The California will pay for your test. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So, pay for mine. please, and stay safe, just social distance, hand sanitizer, Lysol, bleach. Black people be safe. Right, right. My black brethren, please be safe. My black sisters, please be safe. Uh -huh. And uh, and we're gonna go listen to Meg. Yes, go stream Meg's new <laughs> fucking album. Oh my god, go yeah. stream yeah. Megan Thee Stallion's yeah. new album. Period. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, well, well I'm so excited to watch. We'll see y'all in the next video. And uh, yeah, peace. Bye. <laughs>